and this video we're going to be reviewing the rags company ultra clay mint we're going to test it out and see whether it's better than a traditional clay bar or not welcome back to my youtube channel guys and if you are new here i am randy with beyond limits of palm beach mobile detailing so let's start off by explaining what a clay bar treatment is and that is the process of removing all bonded contaminants from your car's clear coat that won't just come off with a regular wash some examples of such contaminants would be brake dust, railway dust, tree sap, bird droppings, and industrial fallout, again from the surface of your car's paint and even glass. Today I'm going to be using it on a vehicle that is in need of a clay treatment and we're going to see just how well it performs. Just by reading about it, it sounds great. You can accidentally drop it on the floor, wash it off, and keep using it. Whereas the traditional clay bar, once you drop it, it is done for. You have to throw it away because you cannot reuse this clay on a vehicle surface. It's supposed to be more simple since it doesn't involve or require kneading the clay with your hands. It's also supposed to get the job done quicker and easier than a traditional clay bar, as well as cover a larger area when claying, reducing time and effort during the actual detail. So, which is better, an old-fashioned clay bar or the newer clay mint technology? We'll figure that out by the end of this video. And a real quick tip for anyone out there who wants to figure out whether your vehicle is in need of a clay bar treatment or not is by doing the plastic bag test this test involves placing your hand inside of a plastic bag and then running both your hand and the plastic bag across the surface this bag will allow your hand to glide smoothly over the finish giving you a much clearer feel to all the contamination that may be stuck on your paint's finish you can either feel or sometimes even hear the roughness indicating there are indeed bonded contaminants within your car's clear coat so we're going to be cleaning the hood of this ford mustang today and the main thing when doing a clay bar treatment regardless of which type of clay product you choose to use is lubrication you want to make sure to always well lubricate the areas you are working on and while there are particular clay lubes quick detailers or detail sprays you can always just use soap and water simple as that that is what i'm going to be using today i find it it's a great way to get the job done as simple and as easy as possible before we do start the claim process though you want to always wash the vehicle or at least the area you're working on prior to performing the clay bar treatment you want to get as much dirt off as possible So in this 32 ounce sprayer bottle, I have soap or car shampoo mixed with water. So soapy water diluted at a 12 to one dilution ratio. So let's go ahead and spray it onto the surface. We're also gonna grab our clay mid and spray some in here as well. The clay media, not the microfiber back guys. And finally, just glide it over the paint covering this section of the hood, working back and forth left to right. And as I keep working on this specific section, I can almost feel how it's becoming smoother and smoother as I go. One thing I have to say guys is you never want to apply any pressure. You want to just let the clay do all the work. Applying heavy pressure is not only unnecessary, but can also raise the chances of scratching or marring your car's paint much more. Once you are done, go ahead and either rinse it or just straight off dry it guys. And boom, just like that, you are good to move on to the next section. So right off the bat, it felt amazing how I was able to cover such a large area or section compared to if I was just using a traditional clay bar. It only covers a small surface area at a time, requiring a longer process to clay bar the entire vehicle. Now, how effective is this? In my opinion, I think I did a great job. While this car had contaminants, it wasn't the worst of the worst, but I feel like this car here would represent the typical or average car's bond of contamination in its paint. Of course, if you were dealing with a much more contaminated vehicle or distinctive vehicle, 
simple that it may require more effort or maybe you even have to bring out a traditional clay bar to assist you in the process but so far it is working just as fine as a clay bar would so so far this is the section we just finished clay barring this section has yet to be clay barred we're gonna go ahead and do the plastic bag test right now and see if we notice the difference right off the bat I can definitely feel all the contaminants under this bag and you can hear the roughness. Now let's go on to the section that we just clay barred. So definitely feels much smoother and I don't know if you guys noticed but it is not making that sound as if it was rough, that rough sound. Definitely a difference guys. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of this hood guys and see if we notice anything different as well Check out the final results of the entire hood All in all, I'm actually surprised of how well it's doing. I didn't buy this much sooner just because I've used clay bars my whole life and they have worked a charm for me, but I definitely wanted to give this a try and see what all the hype was about. My final thoughts, it is believed the clay mitt is the least aggressive clay method compared to like a clay towel or a clay bar. I think it works well, I have no complaints. I would say it doesn't mar as much, maybe at the very worst, just the same as an actual clay bar would. Again, whenever you are dealing with claying your car's paint, marring should be expected, whether a little or a lot. Now, if your paint is awful, as mentioned earlier, then you more than likely will need heavy clay, but for maintenance, this clay mitt is more than enough, more than fine. What I would do in a unique situation is maybe use the clay mitt for the overall vehicle and come back with an actual clay bar for the heavy spots left behind. At the end of the day, if you were to ask me whether a clay mitt or a clay bar is better, it really, really just comes down to personal preference and that is just the honest truth. In my arsenal, I would have both the clay mitt and a couple of clay bars. I'll probably use the clay mitt as my main clay media, but will resort to the clay bar if I ever have to, no problem. It's not like some people where they say, I'm never going back to a clay bar. No, never say never. Before I let you guys go, I wanted to mention, whenever you clay your vehicle, you always want to at the very least top it off with a wax, a sealant, or a coating. Ideally, you want to polish it or paint correct it now that you have the chance, especially since you may have just caused light marring but that may not always be the case so again at the very least apply a wax or a sealant of some kind for paint protection on your vehicle's paintwork if you are unsure on how to properly apply a wax on your car's paintwork make sure you check out my video where i show you how to apply a wax or a sealant onto your car's paintwork in simple and easy steps the link will be in the description so go ahead and check it out and that's gonna be a wrap for this video thank you so much for watching guys i hope you all enjoyed this episode and if you did make sure you smash the like button you leave a comment down below and press that subscribe button as well as hit that bell button to join my notification squad don't forget to watch another video down here as always guys and girls see you on the next one